Hey guys, it's MJ, the student at Tree, and this is a little model that I'm building. Um, the end result is to compare uh, raising finance either through your own sales, through crystallization, loan, or equity. And I've just finished the, the very basic one, so financing through your own activities. Uh, this can be applied to, to any business. What happens is um, I'm looking over a time period of five years. And what they're doing is they're selling some items. So there's got some monthly sales. Um, there's the profit that they're going to be getting on that sale. Um, there's the monthly interest rate, which then goes into the bank. And that's going to then increase it. And then what the cool thing is, is that every year um, their sales will increase. So at the moment we've got it at 10%. Um, but then what they can do and what makes this model fun is that they can purchase a new asset. So they can make another purchase of another asset and that's going to increase their sales by another amount that we can do. And we can also adjust the amount of assets that they get. So this is the very basic form of the model. Um, let's have fun with it. I mean, we've got the graph here of the profits and the bank. So what we can see here is that they were making money. Then when they hit 3 million, they purchased another um, asset, brought their bank balance down, but it increased the curvature. And what we saw here is that the profit, they, they made the buy uh, of the bar, so that was where you got that extra increase, and then the other increases have been um, annually. I mean, if we, if we change this amount here to, say, 5,000, you can see how, how the graphs then react. The profit does a much bigger jump to it. Um, let's keep it though at, at 2,000, just so that when we change other things, we can see see the effect. Um, I mean, if we make this, say, 5 million, you'll see it only they can only purchase it now on the 22nd month. And so the bank only changes there, and the profit only changes later. So that is really cool how it is, it's intelligent to know when, when to make the purchase. It does it when the bank balance hits that amount, it then buys the, the new asset. Um, we can also adjust the amount of times the, the new asset is bought. So in this case, we're looking at beer and they're buying a new bar. Um, so we see a 3 million uh, bank balance goes down, but let's say they want to have two bars. So we can see what's happened now is the second bar can be bought on the 25th month, um, which is quite nice because before it took them 14 months to buy their first bar, and then it's only taking them a little bit shorter to get their second one. And I mean, we can even go for a third bar. Um, you can see the time it takes between buying consecutive bars is shorter because by buying more bars, they're making more, um, they're selling more beer. And so you can see their profits increasing and the gradient of the bank is accelerating um, upwards as well. We can also, I mean, change the interest rates. I mean, we can change from 1% to say 2% and you can see um, the effect it has there. Um, I mean, you can be ridiculous with the interest rate, but I think 1% is, is fair. Um, I mean, what happens when we've got a 0% interest rate? You can see it changes the time with the banks. Um, what else is it? There's the annual increase. So we can say, well, what happens when there's a 15% increase um, or a 4% increase? You can see how the graphs react to that. Uh, there's also the profit per sale. You can increase it to, say, 25. You can increase it to just, say, 5. Oh, then it's miserable. Um, and also you can adjust your, your monthly sales. Um, so we can say, well, if you guys made it 15,000 sales month, then by buying your first beer goes from month 14. Oh, look at that, all the way to month 10. So you can see how you can now set targets for your business, how much monthly sales I need to do, and all these other, other things. So it becomes a model to, to aid in your decision and figure out, well, let's look into the future if we're hitting 15,000, this is when we can buy our bar. But let's say we're also doing quite badly, let's say we're only selling 7,000 a month, we can know straight away that that's gonna delay the purchase of our new month uh, to month 19. Um, 
so this is this is what the model is based on self-financing. I am going to be doing it for three other situations for crystallization, um, using some sort of Bitcoin currency, um, and then more traditional ways of raising money through a loan and raising money through equity. And then equity will you know, eat into your profit and loan will um, add in another expense of having to repay it. So we can see how those graphs do and then right at the end, the goal of the model <clears throat> is to compare self-financing to crystallization, to raising a loan, to getting equity under certain conditions and it will be a powerful tool for any business to decide well, what's the best way to raise finance in order to grow my business? But yeah, that is a very brief um, look at the little model I'm, I'm creating. Uh, thanks so much for watching and feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Cheers. Thanks, guys.